Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn A to Z. Today we're going to be suffering in Bolivia. We're going to be trying to form South America, I think. We started with one factory. I shouldn't complain because it's infinitely more than the nations I've been playing. Okay, what? Hold up. That's a lot of money to be losing. Where's all this money going? Welfare and health. Ah! It's always these old people. Okay, these guys are too old. They're, they're too costly. They're, gotta go down to minimal substance subsidies. We gotta go down to minimal local clinic subsidies. 0.46 a day? The beginning of this series, we started with four political power gain a day. When it goes down to three, then it goes down to two, and then it slowly makes it to one. And slowly we're making it to zero. Large drug cartels. Non-power. Uh, maybe I'd remove them. If I had a focus tree. Hold up. Mandatory service for woman. Bolivia has found out the true meaning of equality, boys. That might be Bolivia's secret weapon. Bye bye bitch. See you in the afterlife, old man. Okay, so yeah, we completely just tanked our government popularity. We now have the non-aligned people. However, I just noticed... Look what's on their eyes. It'd be a shame if I just did a little trolling, you know? Alright, it's time for Bolivia to do the beer hall push. Oh hey, the socialists have actually taken first place. I don't think we're gonna actually take them this game though, because I wanna I wanna get conquering ASAP. I mean like why wait one year to find a few tungsten and iron. If I could just invade my neighbor's city of hundreds of those materials. Hey, look who took over. Should I do the snap election? Yes. Before I lose too much political power, we should probably do it. Hugo Banzer was out on a vacation in... What, what, what's the city right here called? Cochabamba. <laughs> Interesting name, but that's where this guy was. And let's just say, some Bolivian Yeti in the mountains ripped this trade track out of the ground and bitch slapped him in the face with it. And Hugo Banzer was not a fun day for Hugo. And now we have this guy called ADM. Armando Pacheco Gutierrez. Look at that. Making political power again. <laughs> Boom! That's what we're talking about. Stupid democracies and their horrible political power game. Get out of here. Uh, of course, that means we're gonna literally have negative 500 political power. I mean, who cares? Because it's only 2001. It's not like 2013. My brain's falling out of my head. I could still, you know, like be patient. Not do a focus. Get that PP I need. After that, we will bully Paraguay, probably. Either that or Chile. We're gonna probably save Argentina for last. Gotta love the slow game of upping my con my uh, interventionalism law. But hey, we only have about 70 more days where we get to new imperialism, and then we can hopefully get into our first war by 2003. Be a very nice early action-packed game. Starting to form South America as Bolivia. I mean, there are definitely are worse ways to form South America. Don't get me wrong, but. Bolivia? I don't know if that's really it, chief. How many- how much political power do I- I have a claim state? Hold up. I have a claim state in Chile? Of all places that Bolivia can have a claim- Why that one? Alright, look at that. A shipment of strike fighters came in from the United States. It's gonna be beautiful. We're gonna bomb Chile to the ground. And they're gonna cry and scream like little babies about it. Hey, it's time to claim our random claim state. I still have no idea whatsoever why that exists. It's taking like over army to kill this one division. I mean, we did just completely destroy its supply entirely. But why did it take our whole army to do it? I don't know. Oh, wait, wait a minute. We can surround them right now. Let's go. Come on. Let's see if we can surround them. That would be that would be big. Bonk. Look at that. GG nerd out of my face. Never want to see you ever again. Bye. You just got shit on by the Bolivian military. Like, that's embarrassing, bro. I, at the same time, I don't know why we're all just going after this guy. We could just do this. You just drive around him. You guys really need to stop just attacking this division. It's not even worth it. Just keep it pr in prison there. That's really all we have to do. Anything that Chile made themselves is dog shit. So we should be safe. Dude. This front line is pissing me off. It, it's constantly, like, not staying on the actual country. It, like, it moves the entire front line to an encirclement. It doesn't really matter that much. Like, calm down. I don't have any equipment to do garrisons, obviously. That's just not gonna happen. However, we were able to steal all their resources. They're all mine now. 
and their factories should also all be mined. It's brilliant. Jesus Christ, I completely neutered Chile. Look at this. They make zero billion dollars each week. Look at that laughing stock. Hey, <laughs> can we just can we just take a moment to laugh at their sorry asses? Why is it so long? Oh my god. Police state plus 90%. Oh my god. Argentina, what is wrong with you? <laughs> okay, so luckily we got three military factories. I mean, we're still buying guns because it's cheap and easy that way. It's nice to be able to make some of your own shit, you know? It's not as costly. We can actually fund a bigger army than what we have now. Our motorized is only two. It's so bad. How do you have that little in a division? Come on, we're not Luxembourg. We can put some men in these armies. Ah... Nice. Yeah, you know, now with that, I don't think, I don't think Argentina stands a single chance. It's over. Just let me walk in and have a nice time marching through all your victory points. Might as well, especially if you're just going to border Chile like this. I don't know why you have more divisions against the man who doesn't have divisions, but I guess, I guess AI has some sort of imagination that we will never understand. Okay, though, but seriously, Argentina, what? What ghosts are you seeing over here? Like, and they have one division sitting here over here, but who cares? Because, uh, yeah. Time to die. It will not be that bad. Just, this is a circle it so it never sees the world again. There you go. Your resting place shall be on that goddamn mountain. Now, I wonder how long it's gonna take for them to actually rush divisions onto this front line. Hell, better question. Will they even rush divisions onto this front line? There's a good chance they just will completely forget about it. Like, the resistance I'm gonna come across is just gonna be like encountering the divisions on the Chilean border. <gasps> oh my god, they actually have a counter force. Jesus. Oh, of course. Blackwater tank unit! Because you're too shit to have any skill in the game, so you hire OP mercenary company. Literal EU4 bullshit, dude. Oh, okay. You could have just camped there with your stupid Blackwater OP bitch ass, but I guess you preferred death or something. Okay, what are we doing up here? Like, can we move? Move your asses, because they're, they're gonna freaking kill us if we stay up there. We need to get down here and actually join the fight, people. Oh. Thank God for that, because they were actually starting to build up their force against my border. That could have gotten ugly. They're starting to counterattack, but we took a tiny village in southern Argentina, and somehow they died. Lucky for me. Anyway, let's puppet them. Oh, shit. I probably should have just flying on Paraguay while we were still at war. I probably would have made the, the justification time shorter. I guess it's fine. All right, yeah, let's just give them a nice little casual uh, boot. There we go. Look at that. That's beautiful. Okay, that's not beautiful. That looks really disgusting. Oh my god. Well, hopefully it won't look like that for too long. I mean, that is kind of scary though. Oh <laughs> my god. See, look at that. Paraguay's smart, not like Argentina. They're actually putting divisions where the, the, the enemy army is. If this was Argentina, they would have put all their divisions like in Pilar, just sitting there. But no, Paraguay actually has half a brain, which is funny because it's Paraguay of all people. They have a brain when it really doesn't matter. Hey. Honestly, this is always the funnest war in South America. Bullying Paraguay is unparalleled. Literally, I was talking for five seconds and half the country's already been taken for us. That's just how fun it is. You literally, It's literally like bullying a toddler. Oh, New Zealand's actually helping me. New Zealand, aren't you supposed to be like one of those peace lovers? You definitely changed a little bit. Damn. Okay, then. Look at this chat. It's actually holding off three of my divisions. Oh, I think Aegis is a uh, infantry, is a mercenary, though. So, less credit to you. You hire mercenaries, but then you use them in the, the, the stupidest ways that you possibly could. You'd think they'd maybe use it to defend the, 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 the important parts, the major cities, the resources, the airports. Now, they'll they're just throw them into a rainforest somewhere and hope they find their way to my com my cat my country. Okay, but no cap, though. Brazil looks a little pissed. <laughs> Why so angry, Brazil? What did I do? I, I haven't been meddling with business in South America. You kidding? Who would come up with such a rumor? The Islamic Irmit of Afghanistan with the flag of Chile. What? Excuse moi, what? I should never look at the Middle East ever again. Oh my God. <laughs> there we go, justification is finished. We can form the Rio de la Plata. Actually, wait a minute. Did you see that? The name Rio de la Plata was here. Wow, okay then. Does that mean we're becoming like a greater Uruguay? That sounds a bit off the rails. There you go, yeah. <laughs> they never stood a chance, I mean. Do we want to put planes in there to rub it in their face? Why the hell not? 13 bombing damage. I'm sure they're having a lot of fun here. Oh! Oh! Argentina from behind! Well-ho! 
Oh, you got in circle. Now we're gonna save your ass. All right, then their capital is about to. There we go. Capital almost wide open. Now it's wide open. Bing. Hey, who knew being a Paraguay would give a stock market boom? <laughs> so I wish I wish they did that with Paraguay because I like to bully them more. No, <laughs> look at Uruguay doing their increased autonomy focus. No, it's a shame you're going to be annexed in 191 days. So if anything, buddy, I think you're the one taking the fat L today. Oh, look at all that shit just popped up. I think we annexed somebody. Hold on. Yeah, we definitely annex somebody. We annex Argentina and Uruguay at the same exact time. There you go. That's, that is a very sexy looking Bolivia. Holy damn. Look at that. Our gross income is now $12 billion. Beautiful. Who cares if it's an Argentina reskin? We, we got the name and that's what counts in the A to Z series. Am I right? There we go. We just annexed Paraguay. Yeah, look at that. Big boy Bolivia. Bullied South America into its submission. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm starting to get nervous about this Brazil war because they have a lot of men on the field. Like, I'm not even kidding. They got way more than me. 60, 161k to 321k versus 191k. So it's it's a little scary. I, I think it's gonna be a challenge all around, but I imagine if we really micro like those tryhards from Reddit, we could come out on top all right it's time i'm nervous but you know what for the content baby i can definitely sniff an opportunity of encirclement over here if we really blitz it now this was also what i was worried about clearly they're kicking my ass across this front line that is not really good no in that case i might i might just have to last stand order them i don't know if it's gonna do much of anything okay there we go we're breaking through come on we gotta be fast because that's the scary thing if we're not fast, they're going to overwhelm us. So in the time it takes them to completely beast us up here, we got to beast them down here so it evens out. Okay, there we go. We got our first encirclement. Even though even though they're starting to break through up here, we, we managed to encircle them. This is this is good news. Just got to finish it off now. I mean, too long and obviously the Brazilians start to get an advantage that we don't want them to have. Yeah, they see this is a bad thing right here. Look at this. Got to kill this encirclement fast. Yeah, so there's definitely gaps right here. That's an issue. So what we have to do for sure is get these divisions over there and try to control this little breakout. We don't, we cannot have this happening. <laughs> it seems like as the more I look at this, it seems like the river lines are what's key to me holding these battles. Like if there's no river line here, I bet it would have fallen. Now down here, there's no river line. So obviously the numbers are like single digits because we're suffering. Maybe I'll let them have Uruguay again and then we'll try to keep encircling them and lowering their manpower. I'm okay. So yeah, good news. It looks like the front line is kind of stabilized. I think we have stabilized the front line. We fell back behind rivers. And now they're struggling to push us. It's awesome. We also pushed them over that river line finally. Beautiful. You see these black war units up higher? Let's start putting these in Uruguay. Maybe we'll start doing some encircling stuff. Yeah, look, look at this right here. Unsupplied 15 with AI division. Oh, this is going to be a tasty delicacy, baby. Hopefully, at least. Oh, shit. I think I just lost a black water unit. That didn't work too well. Shit. We're going to start making some infantry because we actually have enough equipment. Believe it or not. Equipment isn't that much of a problem. Oh shit, they're force attacking. Oh boy. Okay, you're not supposed to force attack and completely foil my plan. I just need enough men where I can hold the front line stably, but also having a miniature army that's a pushing force to push through and circle Uruguay and completely devastate them 10 times over. That's just the entire trick. A lot of my subscribers might not be used to this. Like, I'm usually just, just like, knocking the game, doing some easy wars, and I'm, I'm having to sweat. I haven't done it in a while. Oh, hey, here's some attacks. Look at that. I can't push through with 12 anymore. Our leader has read Sun Tzu's The Art of War overnight, and we are starting to defend like no one's ever defended before. It's amazing. All right, so I think it's been, like, seven or eight months or something. I don't remember. But we have... A decent little attack army six divisions half half infantry half motorized so i don't know hopefully we can actually use this all right here we go we're finally breaking through i mean they're unfortunately enforcing with a lot of sh stuff all right so this has not gone picture perfect obviously we weren't able to like collapse the front entirely we did get the southern part of uruguay but up here they're still putting some massive resistance they're still they're being annoying basically is what i'm trying to say pin that we have to take this port come on Please take this port. They're literally just dabbing divisions from the sea in here, dude. This is stupid. <laughs> Come on. It's at 91. Wait a minute. We got an opening. Got an opening in the front. Let's go. We got this now. Let's go. 
There we go. Fuck you. Port encircled. Five divisions that will not see home ever again. Five divisions I can laugh on their graves with. All right, so yeah, that was a pretty successful push. I think what we're gonna do now is take back our half of Paraguay. It's quite bold of Brazil to think they can bully Paraguay. Bolivia is the only one who's allowed to do such a thing. I'm gonna call this one Operation Give Me Paraguay the Fuck Back. Yeah, look at that. Boom. Easy. I'm sorry I, had, I let this happen to you, Paraguay, but I'm gonna make up for my wrongdoings. It's not gonna be a big encirclement, but we can encircle this division right here. That would be helpful. It's Millennium Dawn. It's not like you can just shit out divisions left and right. 15 with encirclement still hurt. <laughs> Oh, we got the mercenary. Fuck you. We got the mercenary company in there. Let's go. I don't know why he, the mercenary retreated into there, but take this. If you take this, it's GG. Game over. Come on. Yes. Okay, good. That's game. You made it to the end of the line. No, farmers, this is not the time to be intervening with your fat asses. Get out of here. And to think that this Bolivia campaign might have came to come to an end. <laughs> Could put it in the Hall of Fame. Could put it on a Hearts of Iron 4 Reddit post. Yeah, here's here's like half of what's left of their army. I know it's not nice, but I just I need the content. I need the views. More death equals more views. That's just that's just how YouTube works. The algorithm is a wonderful thing. The more countries and death I cause in my map game, the more views and subscribers I get. Oh hey, look, they're actually defending their capital. It's their last stand. And they're succeeding with this division. Oh, it's because it's a Wagner unit. They're having to use mercenaries. It's their last stand. And I don't think, yep, look at that. Boom. Do you guys remember when Brazil was the strongest country in South America? Me neither. Okay, so I'm gonna try to justify on Peru. Though I am half expecting them to get guaranteed because of the peace treaty, yeah, so instant guarantees. Okay, you know what, I, I have gotten them to guarantee quite a few people, but obviously that won't fade away. They should keep those guarantees till the end of time. I just noticed Colombia's fascist. Since the Western world is a bunch of big babies who only support their own ideology, I imagine if I justify in a fascist country, they won't really do much of anything. Yeah, in classic Western world fashion, it's been 70 days that they won't guarantee them. But they, man they wanted to guarantee Barbados, St. Vincent, St. Lucia, Dominican Republic, Norway, Sweden, and probably a few others that I've forgotten about. It, it's ridiculously stupid. Look at that. They did not really give a shit about Colombia. Jesus Christ, eight guys attacking one division type. Jesus, dude, dude spray out the attack. Okay, yeah, hold on. Stop attacking because this red box syndrome is not doing too good. The org sucks. And they're starting to stack troops on this border like no other. Okay, so why that stupid supply hub gets building? I'm I'm considering. No, I'm not considering. I've already decided. I'm going to try naval invading to this port in uh, Colombia. There we go. What are we doing? Don't do that. Why would everyone leave the port at once? That's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, they're holding pretty stiff on this river line. They're doing what I did to Brazil. Luckily. Unlike Brazil, I was smart enough to use a game mechanic and bonk them in the head. Okay, this is good. We're gonna connect fronts, and then we're gonna seize this airport for ourselves. If we don't, if we don't, we shouldn't be letting them reinforce too, though. You know that 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 would be not what a military is supposed to do. There we go. That's better. All right, the other map. They're like last major city is about to fall. You know, I should actually just spearhead to their capital. I don't think there's gonna be much stopping me from doing that. Seriously? We we defeat them at the capital, we're not gonna take it after? I am so lucky I am a human and caught that. Holy shit. Gonna need more naval invasions, this time on their last capital remaining. So hopefully that will do it for them. My god, how many divisions are they moving onto it? Holy fuck. Seriously, 99% towards capitulation? And you're gonna make me fight for that? Maybe if we're lucky, the city of Monteria. Yes. Yes, there we go. Come on. Thank God. Oh my gosh. There you go. Nice timely manner. This should even be close. Yeah, there we go. Every battle is just an easy win. I can just sit here and fiddle my wiener. They've lost 10,000 men, but what did it cost? Seven. <laughs> Seriously though, 10,000 casualties in exchange for seven? If I'm on the offensive, then shouldn't I be the one losing more men? I guess that's not how war works anymore. Anyway, there you go, die. Yeah, something tells me this is like dro gonna be drop kicking a toddler down a second story balcony. Okay, Ecuador. 
I'm gonna slam a door in your face, Ecuador. I don't know. Weird catchphrase. I had to be goofy somehow. Anyway, let's just kill Ecuador. Enough with the goofy jokes, the Dr. Seuss lines. We don't need those right now. We just need Ecuador to die. This is probably the worst curb stomping we've seen since the conquering of Uruguay. This is bad. I'm pretty sure this was worse than Uruguay. Yeah, if, if you didn't capitulate, your entire army was literally in circles. <laughs> okay, I don't know how, but my subject just declared war by itself. Okay, hold on. We could we could steal their war score maybe. Here it up. Hold on a second. Here, join war, and I will raffle stomp them for you. Here we go. Okay, good. Majority to me. That's exactly what we need right there. There we go. Look at that. I get the majority. Okay, I guess the AI cheating is a good thing for me. For once in a lifetime. Okay, Trinidaddy. This is... You know, honestly, I probably shouldn't even record this war because it's just going to be a little NSFW clip. But yeah, the, the South American dream is almost complete. I can't believe it. 15 long years, my entire day wasted. I think I've been in this game for about 8 hours now. <laughs> I won't complain this time because this was actually a pretty fun game. I, it was maybe suffering for the first three or four years, but after that, it was kind. Of, it was pretty fun. I, I will say that. Got better things to do, better rocks to smash, better mountains to voyage on, just like the Peruvian Andes and the uh, northern Peru mountains. Yeah, they're gonna get smashed on right about now, actually. How would you guess? Yeah, you love to see every arrow being green and easy. I can just sit back, relax, and as that event says, drink my mean bean labeled espresso. This country's getting smashed in because you're so overpowered. I didn't think I'd get this powerful as Bolivia, to be fair. But look at it. Isn't it beautiful what it's created? Like, if Bolivia can do it, then I'm sure a lot of people can do it too. All right, I can't believe it, but we only have one more South American nation left, and that is the mighty Suriname. Yeah, this is not even funny anymore, dude. Our last war has finally arrived. Uh-oh. Wait, what is... Did I glitch out? Oh, no. Okay, good. That was a nasty glitch. I... I was worried there for a second. I did use console to give myself French Guiana and this... Dutch island over here. Okay, I would have done it legitly if it wasn't already like 2020. Okay, if we were more than three years away from the fucking pandemic. But no, I, so I'm, I just decided to, to give myself those tiny states. Mainly because I want to see what South America actually looks like. Alright, so I spent a lot of time off camera coring the nations. It's now 2019. Shall we see what the Federation of the Americas looks like? Oh, that looks sick. Wow, it doesn't change the flag, but it changes the color and the name. That is sick. And honestly, guys, as I said in the beginning of the game, this would not be possible without woman power.